Good news for you. Ang ating unang project, the live studio, is already ongoing. Last December, nag-start na po ng demolition. Just this year, pagpasok po ng taon po na to, nag-start na po yung construction, inayos na po yung function room and music room sa baba. Hindi nyo na po siya makikilala. Bakit po tinatayo na po yung mga walls, inaayos na po yung mga rooms, at inaayos na po yung live studio kung saan po future, mag-aaral lang inyong mga anak ng right music that we may raise the modern Levites of our generation. Amen po ba yun? Sige nga po, palakpakan po natin si Lord. Yung mga akala nating what if na baka hindi matuloy, yung mga what if na baka matagal pa yan, eh, sinasagot na po ng Panginoon in our time today.
Welcome to your dream family. My name is Joan Dino and I am from Children's Ministry. And I'm very excited that you are joining us today for another Sunday worship experience. Pero bago yon, tayo po muna ay magkwentuhan at allow me to tell you a little bit about our ministry. That's for kids, kaya sa lahat ng moms and dads out there, allow your children to join us every Saturday for COG Kids TV. And right after that, they have a Zoom class. At sa lahat naman po ng mga 12 to 15 year olds, we have J12 Fellowship happening every Sunday. That's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. At to know more about it, you can visit our Children's Ministry Facebook page. Kaya naman, shout out po sa lahat ng ating mga leaders ng Discipleship Department. Hello po sa aming Discipleship Department Head, Pastor Ronald. I pray you and your family are doing well. And speaking of Discipleship Department, we also want to let you know that Caruso Christian Academy's enrollment is ongoing. You can visit their Caruso Christian Academy Facebook page for more details. Together, let's transform the world one child at a time. And talking about transformation, I want to share with you a testimony of a girl named Renzel Alburo. Renzel, if you're watching, hi sayo. Ayan, si Renzel po ay nakonect sa ating church simply because her friends and the people watching the telecast just like you, hindi sila napapagod na mag-tag at mag-mention at mag-send ng video na to as a message to their family and to their friends. Kaya naman, sa lahat po na watching ngayon, you can tag your friends even if they notice you or they don't that's fine just keep on tagging the people kasi katulad ni Renzel isang araw kakatok ang Panginoon sa kanilang puso at maging sila ay makakarinig ng salita ng Panginoon we are also inviting you for fellowships whether you are part of the men's ministry the ladies the youth empowered or the young adults or probably a sports enthusiast we have fellowships going on every weekend you can visit Visit their Facebook page for more information. Also, COG Worship is coming up with new songs. Have you heard about um, River of Healing, God's People, Yahweh, and I think they're writing a lot more. To know more about their events, the happenings, you can visit their social media pages. That's Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube account. COG Worship. And for those who are wanting to give their tithes and offering, you can also give via GCash, PayMaya, or online banking. Or you may go to cogdasma.com slash give. Or, it's another or, another option. Pwede rin po kayong pumunta sa church to personally drop your tithes and offerings. So now, because we are starting in a little bit, allow me to pray for you and your whole family. Together, let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Heavenly Father, thank you for a beautiful day that you gave us, Lord. Salamat sa regalo ng buhay na ibinigay mo sa bawat isang nanonood ngayong araw na ito, God. Father, I pray you speak powerfully through them, Lord. Touch their hearts, touch their minds, God. Let your words bring healing to their whole body, to their whole family. Let it bring restoration as well, Panginoon sa lahat ng kanilang relasyon, Lord. Father, we love you and we thank you. Let your presence stay in our midst. And this is our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Praises be unto God for allowing us to stay connected even during this lockdown. Now, kahit nasan ka man, whether you are at home or you are somewhere else, open up your hearts for Jesus and feel God's presence while singing and lifting up His name. Again, my name is Joanne and I'll see you right after the service. Bye! Panginoon. Amen. Isipin natin ang buong nagdaang linggo, marapat lamang na dapat natin pasalamatan ang Diyos natin. Amen. Sige nga po, sino po dito may baong-baong pasasalamat? Ipalangpak mo yan. Hallelujah!
kristan ang kalawakan hindi ko maunawaan ang iyong dahilan kung bakit ako'y pinili mo't inaalagaan hindi ko kayang isipin hindi, hindi ko kayang sukati ang pag mo Jesus na iyong binigay sa
Carvajal Minsan ba pwede mo bang italon yan para sa Panginoon? Come on, come on! Mahal na mahal kita, Panginoon. Mahal na mahal kita, Panginoon. Kailangan hindi tayo magpapali pagkat sa piling mo'y langit. Panginoon, nakila ka sa mga lugar na ito. Nakila ka sa aming bayan. Nakila ka sa aming bansa. Dinanais namin, Panginoon, na tunay kaming makalapit sa inyong presensya. Nang sa ganon, Panginoon, mas maramdaman namin ang pagmamahal mo para sa amin. At gayon din, maibahagi namin sa iyo ang pagmamahal namin sa iyo. Sino po dito ang nagmamahal sa Panginoon sa mga oras sa ito? Panginoon, mahal na mahal ka namin, Panginoon. At maraming maraming salamat sa buhay na ipinagkakaloob mo sa amin sa araw-araw. Sinabi po ng kanyang mga salita na mapalad ang bansang si Yahweh ang Diyos. Mapalad ang bayang kanyang ibinukod. Ang nagmamahal kay Yahweh at nagtitiwala sa kanyang pag-ibig ay kanyang kinakalinga. Hindi hahayaang sila ay mamatay kahit magtaggutom sila ay binubuhay. Tanging si Yahweh lang ang ating pag-asa. Tulong na malaki at sanggalang ay siya. Dahil nga sa Kanya, kami natutuwa sa Kanyang pangalan ay nagtitiwala. Sino po dito ang nagtitiwala sa Panginoon? Tumayo tayo ngayon, pumunta tayo ngayon dito kasi nais natin magtiwala sa Diyos. Amen. Hindi na nais natin magtiwala sa Diyos. Pwede ba natin itaas sa mga kamay na yan? At sa pagtitiwala mo sa Panginoon, pwede mo bang sambitin, Panginoon, salamat. Purihin ang iyong dakilang pangalan. Lumapit tayo ngayon, may buong pusong pagpapakumbaba sa presensya ng Panginoon.
hayaan natin na siya, na Diyos, ang may-ari may ng langit at ng lupa, ang siyang magbibigay pagpapala sa ating bayan at sa ating mga pamilya. Ang aming puso 
Yahweh, ang iyong mga nilalang lahat mong nilikha ay pupurihin ka't pasasalamatan. Babanggitin nilang tunay na dakila ang iyong kaharian at ibabalit ang tunay kang dakilat makapangyarihan. Amen. Amen. Kaya naman, kung ito ang ating mga nasa puso't isipan, magpakatatag tayo sa pag-asa natin at huwag tayong mag-aalinlangan dahil tapat ang Diyos na nangako sa atin. Amen. Amen. Tayo po ay naglilingkod sa isang Diyos na tapat. Walang iba kundi si Yahweh. sa presensya mo, nakakahinga kami ng maluwag. Amen. Sa presensya mo, na ibibigay namin sa iyo ang lahat. Kaya naman, sa pagkilos mo sa aming kalagitnaan sa mga oras na ito, Panginoon, maghari ka sa amin. Maghari ka sa lugar na ito, nang sa gayon, ang aming mga puso't isipan ay mababago sa nais mo. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. At tunay nga po, Panginoon, na nasa aming kalagitnaan ang pagmamahal mo at ang kalakasan na nagmumula sa iyo. Sa iyo namin pinagkakatiwala ang buong araw na ito sa tanging pangalan ng inyong anak na si Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. A blessed Sunday to everyone. Pwede ba umisan pa po? Palakpakan natin ang Panginoong Diyos. Hallelujah! Praise God in Sunday na po. At maganda po, pakilingon po ang inyong pong nasa kanan at kaliwa. Konting kaway-kaway po dyan na po bilang pakita po natin na we really uh, miss each other na po. At bukod po doon, it is an encouragement na magkakasama po tayo ngayong araw na ito. Minsan pa po, palakpakan natin ang Panginoong Diyos. Hallelujah. Praise be to God na po. And for this day na po, alam ko gano'n na lang po kayo ka-excited na po na marinig at tanggapin po ang salita ng Diyos. Amen po ba? Ganon din po ako, ganon ako excited to share to you the Word of God. And to begin with, with our uh, studying of the Word of God today, no po, I'd like to begin this with this video. Panoorin po natin ito. Play video, please. They're gonna fail. <laughs> Look at Mama. Mama is gonna go downstairs. I have to go get some work done. While I'm downstairs, I don't want you to eat any candy or marshmallows or cookies. When I come back upstairs, then you can eat them. Don't eat any, I'll be right back. No food. Yes. Yeah. Hold your arms. Wait until we come back and then we can eat it, okay? She's touching. Don't eat it, James. Hey, Jamie, no, 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 no. Jamie, you, you put that back. Hey, Mommy, I have a problem. Jamie just No eating food, no that's eating what mom said. No eating food. Okay, time's up. We're coming. Let's see if it's still there. Hey, hey, Dad. What happened? Candy didn't fall off the wall. They didn't eat the cookies. <laughs> Good job waiting. George, did you eat any of the candy when Mom was gone? Mm -hmm. 
Were you obedient? Mm -hmm. Good did, job. Did you help your sister? Yeah. Was James obedient? No. <gasps> what did she do? She just touched the treats. Did she eat the treats? Yes. She ate a marshmallow? Did you eat a marshmallow? Yeah. You stinker. <laughs> po kayo sa video na po. Very cute po ang dalawang 'yon na po ang aking pong tanong. Sino po kayo? Sino po kaya tayo doon sa dalawa? No po, yung isang bata na handang magantay, no po? O yung isang bata na hindi na po talaga mapigilan, no? Ang napakasarap po ng marshmallow o yung cookie, no po. Alam niyo po, we could relate it, no po, in in our lives today, no po. There are times we are put on the waiting mode. No po, may mga pagkakataon, no po, when we have this prayer request, na po, we have something na po na gusto po natin, na ma-achieve natin sa panahon po natin ito, na po, we keep on asking God, na po. Pag ang sagot po ng Panginoon sa prayer request natin is yes, na po, siyempre, nandun po, na very uh, happy po tayo with that answer ng ating Panginoon. But if it will be no, na po, siyempre, nalulungkot po tayo, pero if the Lord will say wait, it's another challenge for us. So today, no po, we could consider that this life is also like a game. No po, there are times we are putting, uh, God is putting us into an on hold or what we call the waiting game. At yan po ang mensahe ng Panginoon ngayong araw na ito. And if you have your Bibles with you, let's open it in Psalms chapter 27, verse 13 to 14. And I will be reading from the New International Version. It says here, It is David who is speaking, no po, King David, I remain confident of this, I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Praise be to God upon reading His word. Can we all bow down our heads and let us pray? Heavenly Father, today we are so blessed to be in your sanctuary. Salamat Panginoon, muli mo kaming kinatagpo sa aming pagpupuri at pagsamba sa iyo. At sa oras na ito, nais nice naming sulitin ang iyong presensya. As we study, as we hear and receive your powerful word, once again Lord, open our hearts, our minds, O God, and through your wisdom, change us to be a better person. Once again God, we claim today and receive your blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Sige po, palakpakan natin ang Panginoong Diyos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At dito po sa ating verse na binasa, no po, uh, ito po ay mga kataga o salita po ni Haring David. At sa kanyang pong pagpapahayag, as you could see on the introduction, David was confident, no po, that he would see, no po, the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I have this question, my dear brothers and sisters. Is God good all the time? All the time, God is good? Amen. And po, it is proven and tested. No po? So that's why this should be the confidence of David na sa panahong ito, sa panahon niya, no po, hanggang sa panahon natin, no po, tunay po makikita natin ang kabutihan ng ating Diyos. But there would be a reminder for us. Just like what I have said, no po, sometimes in our lives, we are putting no po, ourselves or God is putting us on hold or in this what we call waiting status or waiting game. No po, as we wait upon the Lord in this text, no po, there are two, no po, there are twice, no po, twice reminders for us that we should wait for the Lord and again wait for the Lord. It means it is a double charge. Can you say the words with me? Double charge. So it is a double charge because sa panahon po natin ngayon, ang mundo ang inilagay po sa ating isip, ang ipinaunawa po sa atin, when we are on the waiting mode or status or game ng buhay po natin, it seems waiting, it must be passive na po. We would like be passivity and many, to many, and simply doing nothing. Na kapag tayo po pala yung nagaantay, na po, we became passive na po. At ang pinakamalungkot po dito sa ating pag-aantay, wala na po tayong ginagawa. At para po mapatunayan, as we wait upon the Lord today, po, some of us are on this passive stage or simply doing nothing. Pakitingnan mo yung katabi mo ngayon kung natutulog po siya. That is one good example of waiting. Po? Wag niyo pong tulugan ang salita ng Panginoong Diyos. But for us, we are being reminded today, waiting on God is hard work. Waiting on God 
is hard work. Still, ibig sabihin ba, Pastor Gary, habang nagaantay ako sa answered prayer, habang nagaantay ako sa tulong ng Diyos sa aking buhay, kailangan meron ba ho akong gawin? No po? Kailangan meron akong partisipasyon. Gaya po ni David, no po, doon po sa kanyang ipinahayag kanina, no po, na he was so confident to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, no po, but we need to wait for the Lord, no po, be strong and take heart, kasi po, naranasan po ni David, no po, na sa kanyang parte ng kanyang buhay, na halin tulad niya po, siya po ay nasa ilalim ng isang balon, no po. Naranasan niya po yung isang experience, what we call being down under the pit. Yun po yung kanyang naranasan, ano po? So being down under the pit, no po, we could also relate as we wait upon the Lord. Some of us, no po, we are experiencing no po, our past mistakes. Napagdadaanan na po natin ito. Through our wrong decisions in life, there would be consequences. Kaya po ang pakiramdam nito, na po, makakarelate tayo kay David. Kasi habang siya po ay nasa ilalim ng balon, take note, yung balon na yon, na po, supposedly dapat may tubig. Pero wala po yung tubig. Sa dilim, sa baho, nung balon na yon, sa lalim na yon, na po, it seems wala pong magandang kinabukasan. Wala pong pag-asa si David. At sa buhay din po natin, there would be wrong decisions in life, no po, that we had made a mistake sa buhay po natin. And this might be our experience today. Hindi lang po yun, na po, it could level up, na we experience what we call inner struggles. Kapatid, are you struggling today? Struggling na gusto mong makaahon no po, mula po dun sa balon na yon at gusto mo nang makalaya sa mahirap na sitwasyon po natin. At ang pinaka-words po dito, now, maybe you have this trust issues. Yes, just like David, he knew God. No po, very close siya sa ating Panginoon. Kapatid, ikaw ba ay close din sa Panginoong Diyos? If you agree with me, can you say Amen? Amen. No po. Just like David, he's so close with his God. Kilala niya ang Dios niya at kilala siya ng Panginoon. No po. Pero dumadating po sa pagkakataon kapag si David ay sumasagad na, no po, sa kanyang experiences to the lowest point ng kanyang buhay, there would be certain issues that would affect his trust sa ating Panginoong Dios. Same with us, na po. It is like, na po, every time when we ourselves, na po, we look into the mirror, pag tiningnan po natin ang ating mga sarili, na po, spiritually speaking, na po, we could see that there's something new in us. May binago ang Panginoon. We have that Christ-like character, but when the issues of life, na po, as we encounter and experience it, na po, para bang isang salamin, nagkakaroon po ng lamat. Nagkakaroon po ng lamat no po sa pagtitiwala sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Kaya po, anuman po ang ating pinagdadaanan ngayon, anuman po ang ating sitwasyon, maybe we could relate no po that we are under down the pit no po. It is so normal no po. It is so usual. Gaya po ni David, naranasan niya po ito. Pero ito pong maganda natin na pwedeng matutunan po ngayong araw na ito no po. As we experience that pit no po that pit no po that difficulties in the pit no po hayaan niyo po tingnan natin paano ba nagrespond si David no po as he wait upon the Lord no po David had done some hard work and we could imitate David no po in this verse Psalms 40 verse 1 I waited patiently for the Lord's help then he listened to me and heard my cry so habang tayo pala ay nasa pit, no po, nasa balon na malalim na, po, na sitwasyon natin, kailangan matuto tayong magantay. We should wait patiently. Paano po ba yun? No po? I'd like to boast. No po? I'd like to boast this person. Gusto ko pong ipagmalaki. Isa po itong Pinoy. No po? At ang pangalan niya po ay si Gabriel Moreno. He is an Olympic archer. No po. Siya po, uh, he had won many gold, no po, gold medals for the Philippines that bring pride to our country, no po. At alam nyo, ang pagiging isang archer, no po, sempre a lot of practice, a lot of training, there would be some qualities, no po, before you you can uh, become an excellent archer, no po. Some of those is this, no po, when you hold that bow and arrow, pag hinawakan po natin yun, kailangan meron ka pong internalization it is called concentration no po and not only that we need to calculate paglagay natin yung pana no po 
doon po sa archer na po, pag ginamit po natin yan, bow and arrow, yung pong pag-pull ng string na po, with much strength, kailangan calculated din po yan. At hindi lang po yun, kailangan meron kang strong eyesight. Saan ka ba dapat nakafocus? Saan ka ba dapat nakatingin? Of course, we are aiming for the target. Church, what would be your target today? What would be your present target today or prayer request sa ating Panginoon as you wait upon the Lord? Marahil pong iba po sa atin, we are targeting that this time na po, sa ating karamdaman, tayo'y paghagalingin ng Diyos. And some of us, we have this target na po, that this time na po, in our present need, we would receive that provision coming from God. This might be our target also. In every broken relationships, there would be a time of restoration. And there's also a target na po, you might be here today na po, you're targeting that this time you would live and change for the better. What be your target today, kapatid? So, as we wait upon the Lord just like David, to wait patiently, even the target called life, kahit hindi po malinaw, kahit po malabo sa atin, hindi natin maintindihan, pero ang sinasabi ng Panginoon, kailangan mag-antay tayo sa pagtulong ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. Even we have this blurred o hindi malinaw na target, Just like David, he just don't focus in every situation that he's been growing through in his present time, but his focus, he do believe. With this blurred target ni David, merong magagawa ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Meron magagawa ang Diyos sa target mo ngayon, kapatid. Sige po, palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon. Kahit hindi po malinaw, kahit wala po tayong makitang magandang kinabukasan o magandang pag-asa. No po? Kasi as we wait patiently for the Lord, God would make that target clear and you would hit the bullseye. You would receive answered prayers. You would receive that help and rescue coming from God. Tingnan po natin on that verse. When he had waited, uh, patiently waited for the Lord's help, God listened to David and heard his cry. Uulitin ko po. God listened to David and heard his cry. Alam niyo po, may mga pagkakataon, pag tayo po inahirapan, yes, napapaluha tayo, napapaiyak tayo sa Panginoon, pero pag dumadating na tayo na talagang sagad na sagad na tayo, minsan wala na po tayong maluha. Minsan wala na po tayong maluha sa hirap na pinagdadaanan natin. Pero kapatid, ang Panginoong Diyos natin, as we wait for His help, God is not only new. Hindi lang niya alam ang pinagdadaanan mo, kundi sigurado nandyan lagi ang tulong ng Panginoon sa buhay mo, kapatid. Amen po ba? Hallelujah. So David no po, has been reminded by God through this wonderful experience as he wait upon the Lord, no po, his life no po, was put back on track or what we call his life no po, is now going and aligning to what we call purpose. A purpose-driven life. What would be the purpose ng buhay po natin? Alam niyo po, matagal nang itong ipinahayag ng Diyos. It is the Lord who had declared it to our lives. Ano po yun? What would be the plans of the Lord? Plans to prosper. Plans not to harm us. Plans to give us hope and a better future. We're missing the point here because God, when God had made you, when God had redeemed you from that old life to a new life in Christ, may purpose po ang Panginoon. Dahil ang gusto ng Diyos sa bawat pinagdadaanan mo ngayon sa buhay nating ito, masasabi natin, nandoon ang magandang plano at pabor at pagpapala ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Amen. So God is speaking to us today. As we wait upon the Lord, God is telling you, Nak, ibabalik kita dito. Ibabalik kita sa totoong layunin o purpose ng buhay mo. But the next question, are we allowing God today 
na ibalik tayo sa purpose ng buhay po natin. For David, he had allowed his God, na po, and what had happened next, ano pong nangyari, ano po, in verse 2, he pulled me out of a dangerous pit. Take note, when you give God the permission to put you back to his purpose, that's the time that God will do his way. At ano pong ginawa niya kay David? He pulled David out of that dangerous pit. Gano'n ba kadelikado po yun, yung pit experience na yun, no po? It is so deadly, like a quicksand. Ano pong Tagalog ng quicksand? Kumunoy. Pag ikaw ay napatapak dito, no po, never been there, no po, physically speaking, no po, never been experienced yung kumunoy. Pero sabi po nila, pag ikaw ay napatapak sa kumunoy o quicksand, unti-unti po, inilulubog ka nito. Unti-unti, nilulubog ka, no po, sa iyong kinakalagyan. At sa buhay po natin, no po, we could experience this deadly quicksand by making that wrong decisions in life. No po? And I'd like to tell you a story. No po? Uh, this story is a story of a man. No po? Isang lalaki po ito. Pinanganak po siyang lalaki. No po? At tayo naman po ay iisa lang yung ating uh, pagkakaintindihan. God created man and women. Amen po ba? God created man and women. Hindi po and or. No po, kundi man and women lang. So, sa kanya pong buhay, no, sa kanya pong paglaki, no po, at sa bawat taon ng kanyang buhay, all of a sudden, no po, yung pong pagiging lalaki niya, no po, ay naapektuhan na po. At dumating po sa punto, siya po yan, actual picture, no po, as you could see in this picture, meron po siyang naramdaman. Meron pala siyang puso, no po, ng pagiging isang babae. At dahil po doon, no po, sa kanyang sitwasyon na ito, and as I tell this story, no po, if you are on this pit experience or you are in this stage that you have this identity crisis, no po, I'd like to tell to you, my dear brother, no po, and sister, una po, gusto po namin sabihin, mahal po namin kayo. Mahal na mahal po kayo ng ating simbahan. Mahal na mahal po namin ang bawat isa. We just hate the sin that you are into. No po. So, with this story, no po, naranasan niya po. At ang huli ko po na pag-uusap po sa kanya, sabi niya, for 15 years, no po, he had been doing this. No po, ginagawa po niya. Sabi lang niya po sa akin, Pastor, masama ba na ako ay lumigaya? Masama ba na ma-experience ko yung tinatawag na fun? No po? So with that fun, no po, he was diverted no po, na magkaroon ng wrong relationship. Nagkaroon siya ng relasyon sa kapwa niya lalaki. No po? At worse po doon, no po, he now get into vices. Sabi nga po niya, Pastor, alam niyo yung panahon na yun, no po, malakas ako uminom. No? Halos lahat na inom ko na. No po, iba't ibang klase. No po, meron po yung markang kabayo. Alam niyo po ba yun? Red Horse. Meron po yung markang demonyo, no po, yung po yung gin, no, naiinom daw po niya. At higit pa, no, sabi ko nga, baka pati yung markang pato eh. Alam niyo po ba yung markang pato? Yung pong markang silver swan o toyo, no po. So lahat pong yun, no, na-experience na po, he had got into drinking, no po, at unti-unti, lumulubog po siya. With this wrong decision in his life, na it seems to be fun sa kanya, Pero dinadanas niya po yung hirap na ito. And until such time, no po, his tita, no, taga, tagig po siya, and he was invited to come here sa Cavite, no po, at sabi niyong tita niya, no po, na dalaw ka, dalaw ka sa COG, dalaw ka sa church. With that simple invitation, nag-response po siya, sige, dadalaw ako sa inyo pag Sunday, pero kailangan kong bumalik ng Friday. Ba't ako babalik ng tagig ulit ng Friday? Kasi dun po yung masaye. Doon po yung gusto niyang buhay. So, when the time that he came to the church, na po, dito po, when he came to the church, na po, ramdam niya na po ang presensya ng Panginoon. At habang nagpupuri at nag-aawitan at nagbibigay pagsamba na po sa ating Panginoon, na po, naramdaman niya po ang pangungusap ng Diyos. Isa lang po ang sinabi ng Panginoon, Anak, kamusta ka na? Marahil po sa oras na ito, kinakamusta po tayo ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Kamusta ka na ngayon? tinatanong tayo ng ating Panginoon. Isa lang po ang sinabi niya, pagod na ako. Pagod na ako. Dahil sa tuloy-tuloy na paglubog niya sa kanyang buhay. 
Pero alam nyo po, kahit po tayo, no po, kahit we are being reminded to stay home, no po, to stay at home, kasi sa totoo naman, when we come to church every Sunday, we are putting ourselves at risk. No po? Pwede tayong ma-infect no po, ng COVID-19 virus, but nevertheless, we set it aside kasi alam po natin that every time when we come to worship God, when we come to meet our God, gaya po niya, no po, naranasan niya po ang presensya at pagkilos ng Diyos sa kanyang buhay. Amen po ba yun? Sige nga po, palakpakan natin ng Panginoon. So ano pong nangyari sa kanya? He had experienced that transformation. Sabi nga po niya, Pastor, kwento niya sa akin, kung dati, maririnig mo yung dati kong boses sa ngayon, ang layong-layo. Napakalayo. Ano po? So sa kanya pong naranasan, when he made his turning point, when he made no po, that best decision in his life, no po, what had happened to him, just like David, when God pulled me out of that dangerous pit, no po, what had happened, God had set me safely on a rock and made me secure. So, tinanong ko siya, mahirap ba o madali na maging matino ulit para sa Panginoon? Sabi niya, Pastor, continue to pray for me. Mahirap. Pero ang nakikita niya, merong ibinigay ang Diyos sa kanya. Doon po, habang siya ay nasa balon, just like David, na po, God had given, I just like uh, everyone to use that holy imagination, inilagay niya ang isang napakalaking bato para maging tuntungan ni David, at ito pong taong ito na kinikwento ko, at ito yung magandang pagkakataon na binigyan ng security ang kanyang buhay. Sa kanyang paggawa, sa kanyang pagsunod sa sinasabi ng Diyos na kailangan niya magbago, ito po ang nagbigay ng security. Hindi po magiging madali sa kanya kung siya lang po ay mag So, he connected himself in the ministry, no po, at doon po nagkaroon siya ng bagong kaibigan. If you want to have a changed life, you need to change your lifestyle, no po? Choose your friends. At dapat mag-decide po tayo. At yung ginawa po niya yon, he was connected to the church. Kaya po importante, connected po ang bawat isa. Dahil isa tayong pamilya ng ating Panginoong Diyos. So when he had been connected into the ministry, now, no po, he became an overcomer. And this is my question. Do you want to be an overcomer? Parang mahina po yan. Gusto nyo bang managumpay sa buhay? Amen. But we need to follow what God is telling us as we wait upon the Lord. Kailangan may gawin po tayo. Habang may panahon pa po tayo. So, for this person that I'm uh, sharing you his life, no po, he became an overcomer because this time, no po, siya po yung taong yan. He was from Jabez now until then, hanggang ngayon, no po, is now being used by God in the outreach ministry. His name is James Kiros. Nakita nyo pa ba yung pagkakaiba? Nakita nyo ba yung pagkakaiba nyo noon na ngayon? Hindi pa po dapat nating palakpakan po ang Panginoon for that. God had lifted up, just like David, into that pit, James, and give, God gave them a firm place to stand, which is the rock. What does this rock signify? Ano bang kahulugan po nitong rock na ito? Alam nyo po, pag tayo po ay sumunod sa kagustuhan at kalooban ng Panginoon, ito po ay nagbibigay ng kasiguruhan sa atin. Hindi lamang sekuridad, kundi kasiguruhan na sa pagsunod natin sa ating Panginoon, nandoon ang pagsama ng Diyos at nandoon na ikaw ay mananagumpay at anuman ang gagawin mo, pagpapalain ka ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Hallelujah. Sige nga po, isang malakas na palakpak sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. So, Brother James had changed his life for the better. Binago po siya ng Panginoon. It is not by himself, hindi dahil sa anong alam at kaya niyang gawin, kundi kung anong nagawa ng Diyos sa kanyang buhay. Kapatid, don't treat yourself to be a hopeless and a helpless case. May magagawa ang Diyos sa buhay po natin. May magagawa ang Diyos at pwede kang baguhin ng ating Panginoon. Sige nga po, palakpakan natin muli ang ating Diyos. So, he continued ministering to God. No po, he find that purpose in life. There be inner struggles. No po, pero he keep on sharing no po, kung anong nagawa ng Diyos sa Kanya. 
He keeps on connecting to our C2S online fellowship and I will be also the witness, no po, hindi lamang po mga kabataan ang namiministeryuhan niya, no po, higit po sa lahat, pami, pamilya ang naakay niya at tuloy-tuloy na kumikilala sa Panginoon at nai-involve sa ministry dahil nakakita sila ng isang buhay na patutuo, na buhay ang kanyang Diyos. Amen po ba? Sige nga po, palakpakan natin muli ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. So if you want to be an overcomer, simply as you wait upon the Lord, be sensitive enough. Make that right decision today. Make that right move today. Sorry, it's not only right decision or right move, but it will be your best decision in life para sa pagbabago ng iyong buhay. No po? But this is one good insight coming from the Lord. Yes, with that verse, no po, God would pull you out in that dangerous pit that you're into right now, no po, out of that deadly quicksand, no po. He could safely give you a rock and to give you that security. But the reality, this would be our response. Take note of the word, a dangerous pit. Delikado po. Kasi pag nandito na po tayo sa sitwasyon na ito, nasa ilalim po tayo ng balon, sa pinaka-lowest point ng buhay natin, siyempre ayaw nating magtagal doon. Amen po ba? Ayaw nating manatili doon. Kaya naghahanap tayo ng mga bato or we are looking for bricks that we could step on it, na po, pwede nating tapakan at unti-unti makaahon tayo sa mahirap na sitwasyon natin. And that would be the instinct. That would be the natural way or move of a, of a human being, na po, Gagawa tayo ng paraan. Pero alam nyo po, sa tagal ng panahon, sa paglipas ng panahon, nagawa na natin yung paraan natin. May mga pagkakataon, we keep on trying to climb that pit, pero nadudulas po tayo. We keep on trying to hold any part of that brick, but we keep on falling. We keep on slipping with that slimy pit. Kasi baka nananahan tayo sa kaya natin. Nakikita natin kung anong meron sa atin with all our resources. But, when we try our part, most of the time, it fails. It fails us. There might be pride in you. Sa sobrang tiwala mo sa sarili mo, hindi kaya ko to. Kaya ko. Kaya ko mapagtagumpayan yung sitwasyon ko ito. Kaya ko to. Pero ang katotohanan, nawagayahin natin si David, inamin niya lang po na he has done his part. Now, he's placing his 100% trust to his God. At itong panahon na ito, Panginoon, ikaw naman ang kumilo sa aking buhay. Ikaw naman ang malaya at makapangiri ang kumilos sa buhay kong ito. Maybe pride that set in, sets in in our hearts, it is a check for us, no po? But, There's a good news. While you are inside the pit, baka hindi na po natin napapansin, sa totoo lang, meron pong isang lubid na naroon. Dahil mas masyado tayong nafofocus sa hirap na dinadanas natin, hindi natin nakikita ang tulong na galing sa ating Panginoong Diyos. And that rope is called what God has reminded us today. It is called to be His grace. God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. It is God's grace. And as we humble ourselves, Lord, hindi ko na kaya to. Panginoon, pagod na ako. Sa pagkakataong ito, gusto ko ikaw ang tumulong sa akin para makahon ako dito. We could, we could take that first step. And as we take that first step, there will be a challenge, there will be a struggle. Hindi mo kaya eh. Mahirap eh. Manghihina ka. Anong pangako ng Panginoon? God's grace is sufficient for all your needs. Uulitin ko po. God's grace is sufficient for all your needs. You could take that second step today. Why? Because when we are weak, He would make us strong. Amen po ba? God would give you the strength to take that second step And now, we are now reaching to the top. No po? We're now reaching to the top. Anong pangako ng Panginoon sa atin? For it is by grace that you have been saved. It is a gift from God. 
so that no one could boast, it is a gift from God. Amen po ba? Sige nga po, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. Ito po yung marahil yung naranasan ni David. As he wait upon the Lord, again, wait upon the Lord, may ginagawa po ang ating Panginoong Diyos. And today, God wants you to see that rope. God wants you to realize as you follow God, as you wait upon the Lord, there would be a rope called grace. Sa totoo lang, abot kamay po natin yun. Sabi nga po, no? Sabi nga po ng isang animal, no? It is called a tarsier. Pag nakita mo natin yun, maliit lang po yun. Sa buhol nakikita, kapit lang. Kapit lang tayo. Ang tarsier, pag kumapit, dilat ang dalawang mata. Amen po ba? Pag kapit niya, dilawang dilat ang kanyang dalawang mata. No po? Just like David, when he had cling on and hold on to that rope called grace, what had happened in verse 3, he taught me to sing a new song and a song to praise of praise to our God. Take note, hindi po yung alam niyang kanta ni David, but it is a new song. Nabuo po sa kanyang puso. And as we experience God today, as you wait upon the Lord, when God is moving in your life, it will be your first-hand experience. Ikaw mismo ang makakaranas nito. Kaya manggagaling sa iyong karanasan, manggagaling sa iyong puso, na meron kang pasasalamat. So the, there will be elements that will be formed. No po? First of those, it is called a celebration. That new song you are singing, you are singing coming from your hearts, may pasasalamat po yun. Kasi it will be your vertical dimension. When I say dimension, it is the measurable extent. It is the big part or the big chunk. Because what you had experienced, kung ano yung naranasan mo sa Panginoon, hindi mo pwedeng itikom ang yung bibig, hindi mo pwedeng pigilan ang nararamdaman mo, kundi ipapahayag mo at ide-declare mo sa oras na ito that you would be celebrating because this time would be a time that you would go out into your dangerous pit that you have been there for many times or how many long time ago. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you want to experience this church? Do you want to take this opportunity that it is be a time of celebration between you and your God? Just like David. As I continue with the verse, no po, many who see this will take warning and will put their trust in the Lord. Not only with this time would be a time of celebration, it will be also a time of proclamation. It will be the horizontal dimension. It will be our part. God knows every pit you've been there. Alam ng Diyos yan, yung pinagdaanan mo. Alam niya kung gaano ka nahihirapan, may pagkakataon na gusto mong sumuko. Alam ng Panginoon yan. Kaya ang gusto ng Panginoon na sa ating pagtitipon, sa ating pagsasama, lahat tayo. We would make this action called proclamation. Meron tayong pagpapahayag. Meron tayong pagdeklara ngayon that this time no po we will be used by God no po many would see what had happened to you makikita nila paano ka pinagaling ng Diyos makikita kanila paano pinrovide ng Diyos ang pangangailangan mo even out of this pandemic no po naranasan mo ang isang promotion o isang pinagpalang buhay it's all because of God and it will be a day of proclamation it will be a day of proclamation to our God just like David. Kaya po pala, si David na po, sa lahat ng kanyang pag-aantay sa kauli-ulihan, he was awarded to be a worshiper. Kaya po pala, si David, yung kanyang pag-aantay, inonor ng Diyos, at siya po ay tinatawag na worshiper. Church, God wants you to be a worshiper. Do you want to be a worshiper ng ating Panginoong Diyos? And if you agree, can you say amen with that? Amen. We have this one desire. Lord, I just want to freely worship you. In good or in my bad times or worst time ng buhay ko, 
I would rather choose to worship you as my God. And today, po, church, can I invite everyone? Can we all stand to today? And as you stand today, be reminded, yes, we are in the pit. You have that past mistakes, but God is teaching you, putting you back on track sa purpose niya to give you a purpose-driven life, no po? to keep on continuing what God has stored for you, best plans for your life, no po? and second, you might be struggling from the inside. Okay lang. Just admit. Hanggang dito lang tayo eh. Limitado ang kakayanan natin and we could just entrust it to God and you and I, we will give permission today that you and I will be an overcomer. And not only to be an overcomer, yes, you have that trust issues with God. Sometimes you have that big question, ma uh, question mark in your mind. Sometimes you ask God why, but this time God is teaching you to be a worshiper. God is teaching you to be a worshiper. Rather than to question God, kung bakit mo nararanasan yung hirap na yan, I would rather worship my God. And I'd like to bring everyone again into our main verse. Just like David, he had proclaimed that I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Alam nyo po, pag tayo po yung mahawak ng puting bandera sa mundo, sa laban ng buhay na ito, isa pong pinapakita nito. When we hold this white banner or white flag, it signifies na tayo po ay sumusuko. Nagpapakita na gusto na nating umayaw at sumuko sa laban ng buhay na ito. Pero ngayon, dahil alam natin, Yung kumpiyansa natin hindi lang galing sa atin eh. Yung kumpiyansa natin galing sa isang Diyos na buhay. And now, for us to be strong and take heart, today Lord, this white flag, this banner, Lord, we will proclaim and we will celebrate today that this banner, and we will declare, the Lord is my banner. The Lord is my banner. And I will worship you, O God. Just feel the presence of God. Keep on waving that white banner today and saying to the Lord, The Lord is my banner. The Lord is my rock. The Lord is my refuge. The Lord is my strength. Oh God, fill this place. We raise up our hallelujah. We raise up our hallelujah. Let's worship.
victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us to be a worshiper. And the two elements, God, we had practiced it today, that proclamation and declaration that you are my Lord, that the Lord is my banner. And today, God, we have not only hit the target, ang pinakamahalaga po dito, Panginoon, now is the time, Lord, as you open up the heavens, we receive that healing today. We receive that provisions today, God. We receive that restoration. We receive a blessed life today. Claim it and receive it today for our God is here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, O God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And church, my dear brothers and sisters, yung pong lahat ng naranasan natin ngayon ay ipinaranas ng Panginoon upang ang buhay mo ay maging buhay na patutuo sa maraming tao. Many will see and feel and put their trust in the Lord because you are God's living testimony. Ikaw po ay isang buhay na patuto. Keep on sharing about, about God at higit po sa lahat, yung Diyos na kinikilala at ang ating pinagtitiwalaan ay isang buhay na Diyos na tumutugon ng ating mga panalangin. Sige po, palakpakan natin ang Panginoong Diyos. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! And as this time na po, can we lift up our tithes and offering to our God? Panginoong Diyos, Bago po kami umalis sa iyong banal na presensya, salamat po sa pagdalaw mo ngayon at pagbisita. At tunay po naramdaman at naranasan ka namin, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat po. Lord, before we leave your holy place, your presence, God, we would love to give our tithes and offering to you. Panginoon, ang lahat ng ito ay galing sa iyo. Na may pagpapasalamat at pagpapakumbaba sa aming puso, we are giving you our best tithes and offerings. Pagpalain mong lahat ng ito upang magamit lamang sa iyong kariyan at upang marami pa ang makakilala sa iyo. And Heavenly Father, once again, here is your beloved people. And once again, God, as they wait upon you today, true enough, God, they had experienced more of your presence sa aming mga buhay. Open up the heavens today. Pour out your blessings upon blessings and blessings today to each one of us. And also, God, I pray for your protection. Ilayin niyo po kami sa sakit na COVID-19, kasama po ng bawat membro at mahal namin sa buhay. Ingatan niyo po kami ng yung banal na dugo. And I do commit everyone to you. Bless your people, O oh God. Bless us today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us all say, Amen. Amen. God bless you, church. God bless you. Thank you so much, Pastor Gary, for that very powerful word of God that you delivered today. Tunay na ang ating mga manonood ay na-bless at nakarelate sa mensahe na ito. And if you are there, you're watching, and you want to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, or hindi ka pa 100% sure kung tinanggap mo na nga ba si Jesus, sundan mo ako sa maiksing panalangin na ito. Dear Jesus, ako po ay humihingi ng tawad sa lahat ng aking kasalanan. Patawarin mo ako at sa sandaling ito, tinatanggap kita bilang aking Panginoon at tagapagligtas. Pangunahan mo ang aking buhay simula sa araw na ito. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen and Amen. And if you have truly prayed that prayer right from the heart, I believe something else, something from within, has happened. Naramdaman mo ang Panginoong Heso Kristo sa buhay mo. At simula sa araw na ito, siya ang bahala sa iyo at sa buong pamilya mo. Kaya naman, we want you to be part of COG family as well. So click the Zoom link in the caption so you will be part of our COG family. Now, if you want to be involved, you can also type, I want to be involved. Again, that's I want to be involved in the comment section. And one of our friendly moderators will assist you and will connect with you. 
Online giving is still available via GCash, PayMaya, or online banking. You just have to go to cogdasma.com slash give. Or if you personally want to drop your tithes and your offerings, you may do so dito po sa ating tithes boxes sa church. Now, that has been the end. I pray everyone will be safe and healthy for the whole week. I pray you have a productive week ahead at miss na miss na po namin kayo. But for now, we stay safe and we'll see you very soon. Again, this has been Joanne, your host for today. God bless you! Again, I have good news for you. Ang ating unang project, the live studio, is already ongoing. Last December, nag-start na po ng demolition. Just this year, pagpasok po ng taon po na to, nag-start na po yung construction, inayos na po yung function room and music room sa baba. Hindi nyo na po siya makikilala. Bakit po tinatayo na po yung mga walls, inaayos na po yung mga rooms, at inaayos na po yung live studio kung saan po future, mag-aaral lang inyong mga anak ng right music that we may raise the modern Levites of our generation. Amen po ba yun? Sige nga po, palakpakan po natin si Lord. Yung mga akala nating what if na baka hindi matuloy, yung mga what if na baka matagal pa yan, eh, sinasagot na po ng Panginoon in our time today.